Okay, MDPs. MDPs come up everywhere. They were invented by um, folks in the 40s, I think, and worked on in the 50s, and um, except they dealt with stuff like five states and stuff like that because they didn't have computers. Nowadays, people solve MDPs that have millions of states, but it's tough. It's it's tough to solve an MDP. So how do we, how do we solve an MDP? We're, we need a, we're trying to find a policy that tells us the right action to do. The optimal policy is usually called pi star. Um, so how do we find a good policy? It turns out to be incredibly simple. I'm so confused. The policy is like optimizing for the reward. Yeah. Well, it depends which one we try and do, but I, I like discounted reward personally. And Yes, expected reward. We're going to call expected reward U for utility. Okay. So we're going to try and optimize U. So we select, yeah, let's, let's ah, why is my, uh, oh, that's why. Ah, I hate this. Um, so we want to find the optimal policy, and it's going to be the action that maximizes this glop. This glop is very straightforward. This is just. Did you just pound on the keyboard? Did, did you just say that was very straightforward? No, you didn't. Uh, so, have you seen argmax before? Everyone's seen max, right? Like the max of 1, 2, 3, 4 is 4. Um, <laughs> the <laughs> argmax says, is like when you're frustrated. <laughs> That's the pounding on the keyboard. Yeah. Arg! Um, that is argmax blah blah is the A which gives the maximum value for that. So iterate over A and then don't give me back the maximum value. Give me back the A that got the maximum value. That's argmax. Um, so so uh, we, we, we maximize over A, which is the action to do. We, we get the, it's the action that maximizes the expected utility. Um, so it's just this weighted average. This is the weight. So we average for over all states, S prime. The probability of going to S prime do, after doing A in S. And U, I told you, was going to be the expected reward. So this is the expected reward we get starting at S prime, assuming we do the very most optimal thing. So this pi star is the, the optimal policy, and U soup pi star is the utility we would get if we did the optimal thing, starting at S prime. So this is just the expected utility. So give me the action that maximizes expected utility. I did warn you there was going to be a little math. You're allowed to bring a calculator to the exam two and three. Okay. Uh, is this a recursive definition? Uh, yeah, exactly. It is. Yeah, we're not even there yet. It's about to be a recursive definition. Uh, I guess you could say, okay, there's a pi star here and there's a pi star there, so it's already a little recursive. Yeah, okay. Um, but we're given, I want, to, I want you to notice we're given t, right? The only thing we don't know is u. Is, this is also called the value function, because it's how, it's the value of a state. Um, so yeah, we gotta compute this. So how are we gonna compute that? Um, well, what's the value of being in a state? Let's take the discounted reward model. Now, I'll give, I'll give you a hint. The first, oh, you, so you are looking at the notes. Yeah, OK. Just, you can use your brain, too. It's OK. Uh, the first item here, there's a, we have T. There's another letter in the definition of an MDP that we're missing. We haven't written down on the slide yet. R, reward. We get reward. So the, the reward um, in S prime. So maybe we have R of S in here somewhere. Is that true? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Oh, awesome. Um, 
So the, the value of being in some state S is uh, the value of, of some state S, if we already know the policy pi, is going to be the expected reward we get um, in all the states that we're going to visit in the future. This notation is really very loose. What's that bar? <sighs> is there a such thing? Well, it's really given. It's really conditional. It's too bad, though, because this isn't really a probability. These aren't really. Uh, these aren't really random variables anymore, so I'm abusing notation. Uh, but everyone in the whole field, I mean, I didn't come up with this. Everyone in the field abuses the notation, so I won't take all the blame. This is the expected value of the future reward that we see. So we're going to, this is the discounted reward model. So we go from 0 to infinity with gamma raised to the time step. So in the beginning, it's gamma to the 0, which is uh, like 1. And then it becomes gamma to the 1, and then gamma squared, and gamma cubed, gamma 4. Blah, 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 blah. So, and this is the reward that you get for landing in state S sub t, um, where S sub 0 is S, and the next state is whatever state you end up in. So what I didn't put in the slide is this expectation is this, this weighted average over all the trajectories that you're going to go through if you act according to pi. So yeah, if you've never seen expectation before, this probably looks a little intimidating. But um, it really it's just what we were saying about it. It's the expected value uh, that you're going to get starting in S um, if you act according to pi. So this looks very awful. And in fact, it is awful. Because um, you know what are the s's we're going to go through? In order to compute r, we need to know what the s's are we're going to visit. But we don't really know those. Those depend on, on the transition function. And also on what action we do. And we don't even know that yet. And this just starts looking like a nightmare. So if you're depressed when you see this, then that's OK. I'll tell you first thing at the next class how we're going to solve this in one fell swoop.